I personally feel like Drake is a little bit of a come up city say blood sucking leech when it comes to women that are successful in hip hop and R&B, especially when they're like coming up. He's study number one. He's such a groupie until you don't want to sleep with him. This is a cycle. We've seen it before. This is him just being like, by the way, the youngest, hottest, newest thing fucks with me. Specifically, Sexy Red, which I could do another video on because I have some words for this. This is like a cultural moment to me. I think it reflects a lot about men and women, particularly because Sexy Red represents everything that women are told not to be in the dating pool. Don't be proud of your sexuality, don't be ratchet, don't have fun and don't be yourself, and don't look at my nails. But Drake essentially validating her, approving of her, saying, oh, this is my wife, is a slap in the face to many women who are self-hating and afraid to be things like ratchet, have fun, or being themselves. When we see the light-skinned king speak for his demographic, his population, it gets all the other parakeeting men that can't think for themselves saying, oh, Sexy Red is hot, she's cool, she's bad, and that would not have happened had somebody like this not said this is our opinion on this person by the way it's a conversation for a different day i'm assuming you're referring to this video wondering if drake is gonna pop out with another baby soon or a relationship i told you and in that case i actually have some new drake predictions for you because he's a leo rising baby and leo risings are feeling this venus retrograde because it's in their sign Upon looking at his chart, I was drawing up some conclusions and I actually think that there's going to be like a really shocking moment for him coming soon, at least in regards to his career, his reputation, and possibly him being a father. So in order to explain this correctly, we have to sidebar really quick and we do have to talk about Lizzo's drama. I promise you it's going to make sense in two seconds. There's a lot to say about Lizzo's chart natally, but there's a lot to say about what's being reflected in the stars right now and how it's showing up in her chart in regards to her current controversy happening two of those things being she is also a leo rising and she has uranus at 22 degrees of taurus so the main thing that we can pretty much attribute what is essentially the maybe temporary downfall of her career to right now is the fact that uranus transiting in the sky is directly to the degree conjunct her midheaven your midheaven is your reputation it is your public image it is the way that people perceive you in the public eye when something like Uranus conjoins your reputation, Uranus likes to shake shit up. It likes to make it dramatic. It likes to make the ground fall through and make you kind of be like, this is coming totally out of left field. This is a shock. How are we going to deal with this? It's usually quite unpredictable. I'm personally a fan of Uranus because it's also liberating and that break free, break down sort of energy can bring a lot of clarity through the vessel of chaos. But okay, what does that mean? Lizzo has her midheaven, her reputation at 22 degrees of Taurus. Why is this important? Because Drakey Poo Poo has his at 23 degrees, which means he is next on this little chopping block in terms of his reputation. Does this mean it has to be as something as catastrophic or inflamed as Lizzo? No. But the dates that we want to keep an eye on is on 8-15, so August 15th, literally just a few days from now. Not necessarily just that day, but the whole period of about three weeks until September 10th of 2023. Because that's where Uranus is going to be sitting right on his midheaven and it's going to retrograde over it. So it's going to be shaken up that public image, that public persona, that reputation for those three weeks. At least in terms of being like at the same exact degree. The other thing to know is that it's going to make this pass over his midheaven once and then it's going to retrograde and come back around into spring of 2024. So whatever we see Drake going through right now, like the second half of August into the first half of September, it's probably not going to end there. It's probably going to be something that, you know, comes full circle come middle of May 2024. And here are my predictions for that. I said, I wonder if he's going to be publicizing another relationship or having another child, whether it's intentional or accidental, or just press around 11 family themes or perhaps what's private becoming public. Pluto, which is an outer planet. We don't have to feel Pluto's influence every day, but over the grand scheme of things over time, it has a very profound effect on transformation. It's been dancing right here on the axis of his seventh house, which is relationship. 
This kind of telling us that whatever he was going through privately or publicly around the end of March 2023 is essentially like a sneak peek of a 20-year cycle starting, you know, end of this year into 2024 regarding needing to literally change and transform everything he thought he knew about relationships, even partnerships, business partnerships, contracts, etc. If there's anything Pluto's going to do, it's going to force you to learn a lesson. So again, second half of August, first half of September, and then into mid-May of 2024, there's going to be a need to change and mature and transform the vessel of his relationships and probably things regarding family. And if he's very resistant to that change, it can cause a lot of challenge. It Astrology is going to happen either way. If we kind of work cohesively in partnership with it, that's when it flows a little bit smoother. If we resist it and run away from it, that's when we start to see things like a downfall, a public humility, a bad news. It does make me wonder if there's going to be, again, something maybe private that becomes public in regards to him being a father, him within relationships, um, even his relationship with women or his own family essentially being something that shakes up, again, his public persona, reputation, or career. I think it could be something about being a bad father or an absent father, and of course, with the way that, like, cancellation doesn't work, I don't think it's something that's going to, like, ruin his legacy but it can definitely make people side high him at least temporarily there are some of the notes that i have for next year i was saying it can be kind of like a divine checkpoint that can kind of realign him with his purpose around the new moon on may 8th of next year because it's going to be conjunct his midheaven but opposite his venus so again relationships women home family all those themes are kind of playing into this, but it's going to join Uranus in the sky too, which brings more shock factor, things kind of coming to light, things being a little bit destabilizing, and it's also going to be opposite his fourth house of home and family, Mercury, which is communication, news, information, etc. There's some relevance to the 12th house, which can often be secrets or hidden things um, in regards to, again, relationships, women, emotional, private matters. Saturn tends to challenge him a little bit more because he has a night chart, so that's going to be the main sort of malefic in his chart, but it will be in his 8th house, which is essentially marriage and shared assets, things like legal, financial things that you have when you're bonded to somebody like a child. It could be something around child support, um, anything like marriage living or buying a house for somebody like those type of things and around mid-may again like we talked about that 20-year cycle starting in his relationship sector it's going to be squaring his sun and it's also going to be in a square to mercury transiting in the sky which at this time would have just entered his 10th house of career so again this is making me think men fatherhood his own father ego his personality identity authority spark notes May of 2024 is uncomfortable for Drake. There's a need to confront something serious in regards to relationships, home, ego, fatherhood. Now, the opposition of transiting Uranus to his Venus being love, sex, relationships, money, women, all of that in his fourth house of home and family. We're seeing the same repeating things here. That's going to be the thing where we can keep an eye out for shocking relationships, for a lot of tension in regards to his relationships with women. And I'm saying that because he's so romanticized and publicly adored by women, best case scenario, if he embraces the transits, he will see growth, okay? He can grow. He can get rid of old toxic habits. He can maybe stop being misogynistic. Those are the great things that can come and kind of ease him into exciting, liberating, uncharted territory in his career. Shock factor in regards to his reputation can support him in that way. If he runs away from accountability or the need to change, Pluto squaring his son is not an easy transit. It's super uncomfortable. Selena Gomez has this right now too. She's also a leader rising. Um, it brings ego, men, authority, figure, structure. It kind of creates this pressure cooker for personal transformation, needing to walk in your truth and unearthing what was hiding behind closed doors or what you use to protect your ego tweeted that on august 1st it's going to culminate mid-august but i'm already seeing some discourse on this the only way your kid weighed when they popped out is such a useless fact like i do not i'm sorry i do not know my son that's weighed. what i'm saying but like, it doesn't mean you I don't know love name. your son You're right <laughs> and you know what he likes yeah well now i didn't yeah. then everybody is entitled to their own opinion but should he had to bully him into being a father most proud parents know Things like the detail of the weight that you were when you were born. 
sounds like a typical baby father who just wants custodial visitation for their child. You guys know that I could talk about this topic forever, but I guess we'll just have to see what happens.